And it's that time of year when the spirit of Christmas mixes with Latino tradition. Tonight is the start of the Posadas season. Posadas are a reenactment of the biblical story of Mary and Joseph in their search for shelter just before the birth of Jesus. Colorful costumes, traditional music, and candlelight are part of the celebration. Councilman D. Andrews and Robert Garcia will host a holiday Las Posadas ceremony in Long Beach tonight. Proceeds will benefit the Long Beach Arts Council. And joining us this morning to tell us more about Las Posadas is owner and head chef of Via La Via Bonita Mexican Culinary Vacation, Anna Garcia. Hi. Happy holidays, or Thank should you. I say happy Las Posadas? Yes, would happy that be posadas. correct? Happy yes, that Posadas. Would, that would be correct. So tell us a little bit about this. For those of us who don't know, it's actually a nine night celebration. Yes, we do it from the 16th to the 24th of December. Ah. And we usually have a piñata in mm -hmm. it because of course there's children. Right. And in the piñata you would have jicama and mandarin and tejocotes. And so no candy in the piñata. No, you have no natural candy. type of thing. Yes, exactly. Really? And then for the kids we also have candy and it's called colacion which are these little baskets. Look how cute those are, Anna. This is the colacion, and then it has animal crackers. And colacion is just a type of candy? It's just a type of candy. Yeah. And then we go around with our candles right there, singing, caroling. And you know, what a nice idea to bring people back to the birth of Jesus and, and the, the story that yes. a lot of us, you know, don't take time to remember this time of year. And that's really what it's talking about. And the peanuts, how did the peanuts work in? Well, it's just part of the treats kind of that we give. Yes, exactly. And of course, we have buñuelos, which is a fried dough. Buñuelos. And you have cinnamon and sugar. Look. Oops. You know, they remind me a little of like a churros, but a different form. Exactly. Right? And then we also have tamales mm -hmm. usually in these parties. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm getting one out for you. This is in banana leaves, this one. And it has corn and squash. It is more traditional of the uh, uh, coastal part of Mexico. Yeah. And I always like to serve <gasps> them with some salsa, wow, some green raw delicious. salsa here. Do you like spicy? I do like spicy. Okay, go ahead, Anna. here you go. I can handle it. Here you go. Mm. And you know what? Sometimes there's that misconception that that Mexican food's not necessarily healthy because our American Mexican food has <laughs> sour cream and cheese. But this is really fresh and healthy. And let me taste. Yeah, I always mm -hmm. tell my students if they don't have. Um, I should kiss you. This is so good. Uh, thank you. So good. Okay. <laughs> now we want to talk about Mexican hot chocolate. Yes. Because Me um, Mexico's chocolate. It's a little different, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, it does. It's not tempered. It has sugar and cinnamon mm -hmm. in it. And we make usually in this time of year hot chocolate. And um, you know, this time of year people want to make um, something that is homey yeah. and more traditional. So we're using an Imusa um, chocolate uh, chocolate um, maker. So what is it? This is a little contraption that kind of. Es un molinillo. Okay. And this exactly. is to make our our, our hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. And it's from Jalisco, from our artisans there. Um, we're going to add a little milk here, let it get hot, and then we're going to use some of this Mexican chocolate. Like I said, it doesn't have um, any uh, milk in it. Yeah. And we're going to put, put a piece oh, in here. Stir it up. And then we're going to stir it up and make it frothy. Look at how this, fun that okay? is. I so you go back and forth. You make it really nice and frothy. Would you like to try some? It's like we're at Starbucks. Yes, I'd love to try some. First, though, <laughs> so let me tell everybody that these traditional uh, Mexican cookware are from Imusa which is just lovely, all the things you have on the table. Go to more, for more information, go to ktla.com. And if you want Chef Anna as your personal guide into the delicacies of Mexican cooking, food, and culture, you can reserve a culinary vacation package from La Via Bonita in Mexico. If you want more info, of course, it's all on our website. And look at the froth. Can we get a look at the froth that she worked onto the top of that hot chocolate? <sighs> Anna Garcia, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Happy holidays. Thank you. Happy holidays. Coming up, it's the last weekend before your Christmas shopping. Mm. Will the temperatures warm up for us? We'll have a quick check of your weather. Plus, we'll tell you what baby names will be most popular. Not for 2010, but for 2019. Huh. We're back in just a moment. Delicious.